I'm going to start off oh, starting in the seated position. Any seated position? Okay. Sitting tall, shoulders down away from ears, pinning them shoulder blades together. Inhale, arms rise. Coming out to the side and down. Again, inhale. As tall as you can, like you've got a golden cord attached to the crown of your head. It's lifting you up. One more. I'm going to take our left hand in front, our right hand behind us. I'm leading with the chest first. And then if that feels okay, on the twist, exhale, lean into that twist a little bit more. Allow yourself to feel the discomfort. And then you can look at the back of your shoulder. What is this? Deep breath. One more deep breath. Back to center, swap arms, I'm gonna go around to the other side, leading with the chest first, check in, see if that feels okay, then look around to the posterior. <laughs> That's my sleeping music at night. <laughs> I love listening to thunderstorms. Inhale back to center, exhale, and walk the hands out, keeping the chest more level, stretching that lower back. You might feel in the sides of the legs and glutes and hips. Inhale, back to center. Arms come round to the back. Big stretch, opening up the chest. Don't completely relax your neck, keep some tension. Breathe. One more big deep breath, filling the lungs. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, I'm gonna go a little bit further this time. Feel that stretch, allow yourself to sit into the mat, pushing the knees down, allow yourself to feel that stretch in the sides of the glutes. Inhale, back to center, arms are on the back, opening the chest, and if it feels okay, go ahead and lift the hips. Two deep breaths. Feeling the tension in the lower back. Inhale, back to center. Next, we're gonna extend the legs into a staff pose. So seated position. Untucking the pelvis, so sitting tall, shoulders down from ears. And then we're gonna bend the legs more so we can hold on to them with the back of the hand. Roll down into a C stretch. Feel the curve in the back like a cow. Sorry, cat. And inhale, lift. Sit tall. Remember that golden cord attached to your crown of your head. Again, exhale, round the spine. Feel the stretch. Tuck in the tailbone. Inhale, sit tall. Another three. Only go down as what feels comfortable. Engage the abs to protect the lower back. Inhale. Sit tall, shoulders back. Two more. Notice any stiffness. I feel stiffness in my upper back. I think it's my trapezius. Just check in. One more. This is a Pilates C stretch. Good. Both legs straight, sitting tall. Right leg over left leg. Left arm over right knee. I want to use it for purchase to move further around. And enjoy that stretch. So inhale, pushing the belly out and the chest and your ribs out. And on the exhale, let go and sink a little bit further into that twist. Letting go of any muscles tensed. One more big deep breath will push you out of it a little bit. And the next exhale, you lean a little bit further in. I do love the twisty ones. 
Inhale, take your time back to center. Deep breath, inhale, arms rise, tall, and down. One more. Just settling our body after that twist. Now, left leg over right, right arm over left leg, twist. Three big deep breaths. One more big deep breath. Good. Back into the staff pose. Inhale, arms rise. Sit tall. Exhale. One more. Good. Shimmying down the mat, knees together. I'm just going to hug and roll down into semi supine. I'm going to extend the left leg and bring the right leg in. I'm going to move the knee out to the side, keeping your hips facing the center. We're opening the hips. Left and right movement. And then we're going to extend the leg. I'm going to grab the hold of the back of the hamstrings, forward flexion, pointing the toes backwards and forth, feeling the tension in the calf and the stretch in the tibias into circles. What's your range of movement like? Five circles each way. Change direction. From here, grab hold of your calf. So you, if you're able to, I'll stay there. And then forwards, flexion, forwards and back. Dorsal raise, plantar flexion. If you feel a warm sensation in the ankle. Good, arms by your side, leg stays up. Rib cage tucked in, belly button into spine, no curves in the back at all. As your leg comes away, out into a big circle, and you're trying to keep still as possible. Notice any hip clicks or discomfort. It can mean a breakdown in the core unit. So reduce the range of movement. Really squeezing the abs. I want you to lead with the knee rather than the ankle. So the knees are making the circle. Change direction. We're starting to wake up our abs. Keeping that lower back imprinted into the mat. Good, from here, staying, just keeping the leg upright, slowly, I'm gonna bring it down and up without the lower back curve coming in. So if you can't touch the floor, which I can't yet, without the back lifting, only go to the range of movement you're able to. 10 each leg, you'll start to feel a burning sensation in the hip flexor, the upper thigh. So we can go in for a stretch later on. Three more. Good. Back into semi supine. The left leg now, so the, or the opposite leg to what you were holding. Right leg straight. We feel a nice little hip flexor stretch if you're pushing your the leg that we've just worked away from your body. And the new leg tucked into your chest. Grab and hold the back of the hamstring, forward, plantar flexion and dorsal raise, forwards and backwards. Into circles. Go ahead and change direction. I 
and then stay here or you could grab hold behind your calf increasing the stretch in the hamstring forwards and backwards again with the ankle hopefully it's starting to feel warm inhale arms by your side switch the core on imprint the lower back curve into the mat big circles drawing them with your knee not your foot looking for 10 keeping your abs braced change direction And then we're going to go into those raises, single leg raises, keeping that lower back curve flat. Three more, two. Notice where you're feeling the engagement, that's where you're working. One more. Excellent back into semi-supine inhale arms rise big stretch overhead slowly exhale for you to completely fill the lungs helps you tune into that parasympathetic relaxation inhale using the ribs pushing them out one more pause at the top with full lungs good next legs are up in tabletop so you can have more bend that's absolutely fine arms behind your head to support your neck i'm going to come up into a crunch to as close to the knees as you can and down trying to get your shoulders off the floor and if you can get your hips off the floor as well even just a little bit even better for the lower core engagement or if you can't do that yet try and eventually you'll build the strength too exhale coming up inhale down another five one more and you've got the option to rest or hold your legs there you want to inhale big reach over your head out to the side the arms come again inhale two more planting that lower back curve into the mat one more good hug them knees in for a hug and roll side to side Sometimes we can get back pain if the core is quite weak or has not been used in a while. Same again. So we're going to start in semi supine, three relaxation breaths. Inhale. Slower exhale. One more. Legs back into a tabletop. Arm supports head coming in for 12 crunch. Really squeeze the core as hard as you can when you're coming into the knees. Another three. One more, then we got the option to rest or hold them legs up high. Inhale, arms rise. Don't switch that core off. Five all together. Another three.
burning now. One more. Excellent. Hug and roll, Apanasana. Good, back into semi-supine. The next we're gonna bring our right leg over our left knee for piriformis and outer glute stretch. We're gonna push our knee down into the floor. Just feel that stretch, it might be around your hip, it might feel tightness, or the discomfort might be in your glute underneath. Let's try and let go. From here, arms by your side into a single leg glute bridge. Coming up as high as you can and back down. If you do tend to cramp in glute bridges, have a play around with your foot placement. Is it too close or too far away from your hips? Weight should be in the heel. Looking for 10 reps. Keep that core engaged as we warm up the glutes and the lower back. The foundation of the building is the glutes. Two more. And you've got the option to hold or release. If you're holding, push the knee down towards the floor. And again, notice where you're feeling this. I feel it in my lower back, above my hips. Breathe. One more big deep breath. And release. Excellent. From here, we're gonna go into glute bridge. All the way up, all the way down. Hips touching the floor again. Squeezing the bum cheek. And you're working your hamstrings and lower back again. The higher up you go, the more your lower back you're working. Looking for 20. Another nine. Two. You've got the option to hold the last bridge or release, coming onto your tip toes. And then we're going to dip for a final 10 whilst keeping on your tiptoes. And feel a bigger range of movement you get now from the posterior chain. I'm going to work harder for balance. Go into 10. Six. Another four. One more. Good, release, a few seconds rest. And we're gonna come up into the glute bridge. Then as we come into the glute bridge, we're gonna hold it, arms overhead. Big inhale and the exhale, release, tucking the um, knees in, lifting your tailbone off the floor. Arms by your side and your legs are coming out. Again. Legs back in, glute bridge, as high as we can, arms overhead. Arms down, release, apanasana, knees in, tailbone off the floor, legs out, arms by your side. Two deep breaths, planting that lower back curve into the floor. Hugging the knees, glute bridge, high as you can, arms over your head. Exhale, arms come down, you come down, apanasana, knees in, shoot the legs out to the side. Two deep breaths. Knees in, apanasana. 
glute bridge, arms over your head, coming up as high as you can, release, Apanasana, shoot them legs out, two breaths, that once more, one more big deep breath, hugging the knees in, glute bridge, so it's counter pulls in this, sorry, arms over your head in the glute bridge, bring them down, hug the knees, shoot the legs out, two breaths, one more, good. So this time the left leg comes over the right. So you're just a little bit higher up than the ankle. I'm going to push that knee down ever so slightly. Deep breaths and see how that feels and where you feel it. Again, around the hip joint. My pelvis is quite stiff, tight. So that's where I feel it. You might feel it around the glute or groin. From here with 10 single leg glute bridges, arms by your side, coming up as high as you can, pushing that knee down as you come up. Pilates is about getting your body to do exactly what you want to do with precision. Another three, one bump cheek should be leading this. Touching the floor on one side. One more. Good. Untucking that piriformis stretch. Coming into glute bridges. Going for 20. One second up, two seconds down. Another 10. Three more, and then you've got the option to hold or Oh, well, we're going to hold or you can release. So we're going to hold have two breaths and then we're going to come on to our tiptoes. You can rest throughout any of this. Let's come on to our tiptoes. I'm going to come up and down for an additional 10. Six. It's good. Nine. Ten. Let's hold. Two deep breaths. Really feel that lower back engaging as well. One more. Arms over your head. Exhale, arms down. You come down into knee hug. Tailbone off the floor, bringing the foot, the feet out, two breaths of that hold, planting the core into the back. One more deep breath. Inhale, hug the knees, tailbone off. Semi-supine to bridge, arms over your head. Two deep breaths. Opening the chest and the hip flexors on the anterior. Exhale, arms come down. Hug the knees, apanasana. Shoot them legs out. Or keep a good bend in the knee. One more deep breath. Apanasana. 
tailbone off the floor, semi-supine, to bridge, arms over your head. One more deep breath. Exhale, down, apanasana, hug the knees, shoot out, leg, raise, hold. Two deep breaths. Last one, apanasana, semi-supine, arms over your head, hold. Exhale, apanasana, shoot them legs out. Excellent. Coming on to semi-supine, let's make our way up into the seated position. Well done, feel free to grab a drink. Some shoulder work next. And lower back mobility. So we're going to be in the box position. Let's check in with our spine, see how it feels. Hope feel a bit looser. With cat cow. Really, the bridge, the bridge, glute bridges are really good for the lower back and glutes. Hopefully, feel some warmth above the hips now, and the base of the back. Okay, first exercise for the posterior shoulder. So we're going to keep distributed the weight evenly over left and right, but one arm comes away. So if you're feeling in your wrist at all, try moving a little bit further forward so they're not clamped, or you can go onto fists. But I do find that that makes a big difference personally, because you are meant to have them directly under the shoulder, but I can't do that. So come into head height to the side and back down. Up, side, back down. Looking for 10 to 12, or as many as you can manage. As high up as you can go. Now I want you to think about using that shoulder blade. So sort of moving that, pinching that P. Halfway. If it's burning, it's working. So if you have got a weaker shoulder blade, it might burn faster than what you'd expect if you're comparing it to the other side. That's okay, just be patient with it. Another three, two, one more. Excellent. Same arm, you're gonna come and thread the needle. You're gonna come round and follow your gaze with your hand, pulse one, pulse two, and again, thread the needle. Again, 10 to 12, one, two, with control. Don't forget your pulse. Pulse one, pulse two, another four. Hope you should start to feel warmth now. Two more. then for the final one, we're going to stretch it out. So exhale, thread the needle, arm over your head. It's going to hold that stretch for the lower back and hip area. Try and sink into the mat. Let go of the tension. Like your body's falling asleep. And you can tuck that top hand in your back pocket if that feels okay, but stop your chest from falling into the floor. Excellent. Making our way over to the prone position. This is a really good one for the posterior shoulder, um, but it's also really hard. 
Um, so I'm not expecting many reps. Six would be great. Um, I've done this before, so I'm all right with 10. But as many as you can. Floor is lather with your hands. Starting position is here. So don't touch the floor again with your hands if you can help it. Coming down, flip it, coming up. So it's a back and shoulder. Big circle, almost a big circle, but it's a bit of a shoulder press as well. Take your time. I really want you to think about the muscles you want to work. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, squeezing that P. Four, as many as you can, or 12. Six, try and keep them shoulders down away from your ears. Burning. So on eight. Ten. Last two if you can. This is tough. Well done. Last one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well done. How did that look feel, Linda? <laughs> that was for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come into child's pose and stretch that out in the lower back. And you feel the stretch. Pushing your hands away from your body, your elbows away. It's a stretch for the lats as well. We can circle off them wrists, give them a wee break. Excellent. Over to the other side. Box position, let's compare and see how we get on. So if this is your weaker side, you need to match the reps. Take your time, match the reps from the first side. So looking for 12 forwards and side and down. Shoulders down away from ears. Another four. Soft elbow. Two. Good. When you finish last rep, we're going to thread the needle with two pulses. For 12. Six, halfway. Last three. One more. And I'm gonna hold in for a stretch. Extend the arm over your head, making sure your chest doesn't fall into the ground. If that feels all right, you can tuck that hand in your back pocket. Again, being aware of your chest or shoulder falling down. Excellent. Making our way over to the prone, in, prone position for floor angels. As many as you can, or 12. Starting whenever you're ready. Floor is lava. Then we're going to stretch up. If it's hard, it means it's good, it's doing something. Oh, 
Well, the halfway seven. Last three. Burn, burn. One more. Two more, even. Last one. Can do it. Well done. We finish the last rep. Child's pose. Knees together, stretching out lower back. You can circle off the wrist as well. So I'm going to get into some steep stretch work next. Now all my muscles are warm. So I'm going to come into a down dog. Don't worry about your heels coming on the floor if they're just off. That's fine. Think about sending your hips to the sky. So untucking that tailbone. Head between the biceps, looking at your toes. You can, might want to paddle your feet out. Stretch your calves. You can stay here or you can try and go into the dragon. So three-legged dog and then you can help your arm with your hand. So you're right, sending your right foot to your right hand. You can stay here. We're trying to open up the hips here. Untuck the back toes. This is a lower back stretch as well. So you can stay here or keeping tension in the ankle. So we're just settling in at the moment, but I want you to keep tension in the ankle and come onto the side of the ridge, which will send your knee out, opening the hip. <sighs> Trying to straighten that back leg a little bit more, opening up the hip flexor. So back leg, a less of a bend in the back leg. will send you down in the next bit if you want to give it a go. So notice where your tightness feels, mine's a hip flexor. Inner thigh, outer thigh, everywhere. Hold. So you can hold here, or you can try and come onto your elbows and see how that feels. For a lower back, deeper stretch. It's quite a challenging one. This is a dragon. Two deep breaths. Just try and relax. From here, if you've tried to progress it there, straighten the arms again. Tuck that toe, those toes under the back leg. We're going to go into pigeon. So the right leg comes into a bend for pigeon. I'm just going to settle in. So working the glute and that back hip flexor again. Chest proud. Switch off the muscles around the pelvis, the thigh and the back leg. Just try and sink and relax. You feel free to come onto your elbows and then your forehead to your hands if that feels good. Allow yourself to feel the stretch where it is so you don't tense up the muscles around. Three big deep breaths. Sinking in further with the exhale. And if you finish your last breath, we're going to go back into down dog. And see if you can notice any loosening in the hip or the uh, glute from those stretches. We'll see how it is with the other side. So you might not be able to go onto your elbows or as deep in the next stretches. That's fine. Just do what feels good. Left leg this time comes up and then next to your left arm. 
and then we're going to settle in. Good, excellent, well done. Untuck in the back foot, straighten that back leg a little bit more so there's more tension and weight on that hip flexor for stretching. Breathe, will help relax the body into it. Notice where you feel it on this side. Is it as much in the same places? Flexing your ankle, we're gonna move on to the ridge, pushing the knee out. Again, settle in. This is quite an intense stretch, so well done, giving it a go. Stay here, or you can go onto your elbows. Three big deep breaths, if you're able to progress it. Next inhale, left leg comes into pigeon. Let's take your time. Settle into pigeon. Relax the glutes, the hip flexor, your quads. Good. You want to progress it onto your elbows and then forehead to hands, feel free. Three big deep breaths. I just want to finish in spinal twist. I think it's really important. It's good for the lower back when you've got any back injuries. So I'm going to shift the hips over to the right, knees over to the left, and then you're looking the opposite way. We want your shoulders to be planted. So you, yeah, your shoulder blades are in the mat. And deep breaths. And if you want to increase that stretch, adding more weight to the lower back, extend that top leg and hold on to it. And notice where you feel it. I feel it just above the hips again. You might feel it in your glutes if they're tight. These are your tight places. You might feel it in your lower back. You might feel it in your pecs, your shoulder area. Inhale, I'm going to bend both of those knees and move over to the other side. Shift your hips over to the left, take your time, or to the right. And go ahead and extend that top leg if that feels good. <laughs> She's shouting some abuse at me. <laughs> I want booby. <laughs> Good. Inhale. Let's come up to a seated position. Just finish with some relaxation breath work. Let's get you ready for bed. So sitting tall. The cord is pulling. Shoulders down away from ears. We'll practice a box breath. Inhale for four, pause for four, exhale for four and pause for four. Breath is the anchor of the mind. When things become overwhelming in a fitness class or your career, always bring it back to the breath. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Pause, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four.
four, pause, one, two, three, four. Let's do five, one, two, Namaste, thank you for coming tonight everyone, I hope you sleep well.